Okay, so the greater of colon subtotal either the itemized deductions. I'm going to put those two on an internal bit right here, a subcategory. That's what the colon means. It means there's going to be, I'm going to pull these inside in here and then and then have a, a total outside, which will take the greater uh, of the two in essence. So itemized deductions or the standard deduction. And then the standard deduction, I'll put a little asterisk because it's going to be coming from a worksheet. Now the itemized deduction, let's put it, let's indent this as well. Home tab and then alignment and indent it because it's going to be one of one or the other of these two. The itemized deductions come from the schedule A. So we will create another worksheet for that, but we don't have anything in there right now. So I'm just going to put zero. We will continue to build this later. The standard deductions is going to come basically from a worksheet. Now you can get this in essence from this uh, table right here. Here are the standard deductions for single, married, head of household. So this, the, these deductions tie into the filing status. So I can put a little worksheet down here. And, and then again, you can get more or less sophisticated with this, but I'm going to put it down here on, let's put it just for now on uh, 21. I'll put it down here and say these are the standard deductions colon. And I'm going to say if they were single or married filing separate, which is M uh, F S. It, that's the shorthand for married filing separate. Duh, duh. Then let's put that over to I could I make this a little bit wider? Let's put it like over here. Uh, 13850 that comes from our table. So 13850. All right. And then this is going to be head or let's say married filing joint. And that's often abbreviated as MFJ. And that's going to be, you could think of it as this. Hold on a second. This is not right. 13850. And then this is going to be that times 2, 27700. That helps you to kind of memorize it. If you can memorize this number, you can say, okay, then it's doubled for married. And then we can say head of household, often abbreviated HOH, is going to be in between at 20,800. So that's the 20,800. Now, if you're filing a 1040SR, they have these added brackets down here for single, married. Uh, so if, if certain conditions are met, which we'll talk about later, but I'll try to put a little thing in here. So if they say over 65 or blind for, I'll put this up top, married filing joint and single or head of household, then you have another 1850 and 1500. Uh, per person.